What is up course heroes? Welcome to yet another video. This is your boy Amit and today we are looking at Jupiter on AppSumo. So for all you software junkies out there, this video is for you. Now I found out about Jupiter through a post that I saw in the Ken Move SAS. I can change the name of this group too. Anyways, uh, this is where I first heard about Jupiter and the, what caught my eye was this line the Descript alternative. And I'm currently recording this on Descript. So my antennas went up. I'm like, ooh, let's see what this is about. So that led me to the AppSumo page. And on this page, I'm going to spend maybe like 30 seconds to just go through the plan details. So let's hop on over to the plan. You're obviously watching this video because you already know about Descript. So I won't spend too much time on the features. We're going to dive right into the features after showing you the plan. So you have three uh, tiers here. I think that's the highest is tier three. In tier one, you get 10 hours of audiograms and also 10 hours of AI video transcription. I think this might be enough for most people. But the second one is unlimited audiogram and then 50 hours of AI transcription. And then tier three has unlimited audiogram and then 100 hours of AI transcription. Those, that's really the feature set. And with that, let's dive right into the tool. All right, so once you log in, this will be your dashboard. You obviously won't have any videos. As you can see, I've been playing around and created a few videos just to see how it works. I'm actually gonna walk you through the videos first, then answer some questions that were in the FAQs, and then also let you know my final feedback. So how this works is you have to upload an audio or a video. You cannot start with just writing out a script. So when I click on this create new button, I will be able to upload an audio or a video and I'll be asked whether I want to create an AI video or an audiogram. Before I do that, a couple of things to note here, right on your home dashboard, which I really like is you can easily see what plan you're on and how many minutes you have remaining for audio and video. And this resets every month. If you go back to the deal page here, you can see it's per month. That's really good to see right there. Now, if we scroll down, I can press the create new button. And here I can either create an AI video or an audiogram. So I'm going to select AI video. Here you'll be asked to upload a new video. So I've already done that, but to show you how this works, I'm going to click on this try sample video. What it's going to do is load up a sample video for you. And each time you do this, you're going to see this uh, little tutorial. I just skip it after the first few times. Uh, so here's the sample video and the UI is very simplistic, right? It's super simple, super easy to use. First thing you can do on this video is you can remove the watermark. I wish we just had a setting in our video settings to remove watermark permanently instead of doing it per video, but maybe that'll come in later. And then you can also choose the orientation and as you select the different orientations you can see that the video resizes so that's pretty cool and then here what do you have to do is you can select a piece of text and once you do you can select generate video it's going to connect to unsplash pick a correct video based on the text you have selected and just insert it into the script what i have noticed is i had only selected the first line but for some reason it's selecting multiple lines so it's selected my first one and the second one and i didn't want to do that so maybe that's a glitch that is being worked on i hope so. then what you can do is select the second line and do the same thing you can also do a combination of videos and images or you can just say hey i didn't like this generation you can see it automatically goes into the newly generated video and if you don't like it you can just say generate under again with another keyword this one is in beta so right now the keyword it's picking on is night thing. So you would have to go in and change that. You can also delete it. You can say generate again, or you can change it to image. So I'm just going to go delete it. Uh, let me show you how image generation works. So if I just select this stuff here, I'm going to say generate image. This is going to go, I'm guessing, also to pixels and insert an image automatically in here. Now, if we pause here and go back, put my playback, playhead here and hit play, the highlighted text says one owned a jewelry company, but when I play this, it has nothing to do with jewelry. So that's, it's a little off and it does that that generate image is in beta. So let's try one more line here. It does say generate images in beta. So I'm hoping it'll improve. Uh, let's see how it does with this podcast. 
So that one was good, but it was too quick. Let's try playing it again. I like that the transitions are pretty seamless. It just splits the video on the back end and inserts it. Uh, one thing I want to call out, one of the biggest things, I know Ken and whoever else posts these deals, I know they're copy pasting content from the deal page. Uh, right now, this is in no way, shape or form a Descript alternative. Uh, so you saw how this works. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just select it and then it inserts the video. Now, if you go back to the start of the playhead here and go to portrait, when I play this, it should have adjusted all the videos accordingly. So you can see it's uh, in the 9 by 16 format. The next thing, which is actually one of the questions by a lot of users who want to purchase this deal is, can we change this transcript here? You cannot edit the transcript here as of now. So what you have to do, and this is what I found, maybe there's a better way, is you have to actually go to the subtitles and then change it there. So if I want to change this word right here, I'll highlight it in the subtitles, change it, and then when I go back, that change will show into effect. So then I can copy this and generate video. So that's how I found you can edit the script. I heard in one of the comments that the founder had made me that it is coming where people will be able to highlight and change the transcript right here so you don't have to go back and forth. One of my most annoying things playing with this tool has been if I highlight something and say generate video, the video gets generated super fast, it gets inserted into the current video, but then it just keeps playing on its own. So it goes into autoplay. I can't hit the space bar, which is typically what most video editing softwares have to stop the video or pause the video, I have to go back here. And once I'm here, I can hit play again. And then once I'm past that point, I have to hit pause again, then select the text and then generate video. And if I'm doing this quite a bit, it can get a lot of mouse clicks and keyboards and there's no way for me to change that. And to show you this in a real example, what I tried to do. So one more thing, which is also frustrating is there's no save button. I can't save this video. All I can do is export this video. So if I was to X out of here or my browser crashed, this video is gone. There's no auto save. There's no button here to save. So kind of SOL. And I just have to hit back to library and all my changes are going to go away. So that part does suck big time. An another piece of feedback that I hope the founder does something. So let me show you what happens. I did this one here, four hour work week and the idea here is I'm going to take quotes from the four hour work week book and convert those quotes into videos. So then I can post it on my socials. Now here's where you will see it's a lot of back and forth with me selecting the text, generating the video, then pausing it to be able to go back and insert another generate with video. So let's start with this one here. Let's generate video and you will notice Apart from the text that I highlight, sometimes it jumps forward and auto highlights the rest of the text, which might not be something that I want to do. All right, so now it has put the video. Now I'm going to go on the right side and pause this because now I want to do the same for this one and generate video. So if you had 30 lines and each line was supposed to be a new AI video, you're going to have to do 30 clicks on the right side to pause this player, then come back highlight the text and then play. The other thing I, I don't know if you noticed is I had highlighted these three lines, but the video got generated only on these two lines. So now I have to highlight this again and hit generate video again. Now we can play this and see what it looks like. So again, space bar doesn't work. You have to select where the playhead is and then hit the play button. And then you can see how it looks here. All right. So. One thing to note here is I see up top here, it says saved, uh, which I'm hoping that means that all the things that I did just now got saved. But when I head back to the library, I'm still going to get this same message and I'm going to have to hit leave and then hope that those changes are saved because at this point, I don't know if they're saved or not. So what we can do is go back in here. So look, they were saved, but we're still getting that message. So that's kind of annoying. Maybe a, again, another UI thing that needs fixing. The uh, next thing I want to show you is audiograms. So for audiograms, what you do is you upload an audio and it would be the same way here where you hit create new audiogram and you're going to upload an audio file. So let's go ahead and upload an audio file here. Here we have an audiogram. I just uploaded it. Now 
So subtitles are being generated in the back end. While they're being generated, I can pick my template and my design. And as I pick them, you'll see on the right side, they're going to change. Again, I don't know why this remove watermark is here. Like I think it, it's checked by default, but for AppSumo users, if there's never going to be a watermark on any plan, then just remove it, right? But a lot of UI things that I find a little bit annoying. I really wanted to like this product, especially after the bold claim made here. But again, Jupiter is not really taking off of Earth at this point. So here you can apply any of these templates. And as you do, you will see the design changes on the right side here. And then you can further go into that design and change, for example, the colors. Or you can upload your own podcast art or you can choose an unsplash image. You also have some font options. And I did see that the creator of this tool had answered on AppSumo that uploading custom fonts is coming in the future. Now at this point, my subtitles are generated and once I play this, you will see that they start showing up on the script. I can forward this and those subtitles will keep changing as me and my co-host are talking. Now I can either do none, which wouldn't make any sense because it's an audiogram. Uh, I can do closed caption subtitle and I haven't tried that yet. So I don't really see what it's doing. Looks like the podcast is playing, but it's not really doing anything. Then you have the big title, which is this one here. And then word by word. When you click on word by word, it's going to animate each single word, which I like. It's pretty cool. And then you also get uh, brought directly to the transcript where you can make changes. Now you'll also notice on the bottom that other languages are supported and you can click on view full list to see all the list languages that are currently supported by Jupyter. Another tiny little UI thing which I've noticed both with videos and with also annoying is it doesn't automatically give your videos and audios a title from the file name. So right now I don't have this export button available for me to click but when you go to click it you get this message here. I clicked it by mistake. Most people won't even click it because it grayed out. It says you have to fill in a title for your audiogram. So then you have to go back to your design and here you can type in your, you type in your title and now you can see that the export button is available. At this point, uh, before I export it, I'm just going to change this social URL and hit export. At this point, your credits are going to be used, which I do like this because instead of using up your credit to transcribe the podcast, it's only going to eat up the credits. All right. So once you click the export button, going to take a few minutes. It says here it usually takes about six minutes. Looks like it's moving pretty quick. Uh, while this happens, I can just go back to my library. Now there's no back to library button. So I typically just hit it a few times till I get back to the main dashboard. I had mentioned the video title. If we go to create new and do another AI video, I just uploaded a video and you can see the first thing that Jupiter asks is the name of the video. It's a minor little thing, but it could improve the UI by so much if it automatically just took the title of the file and put it in the video title and then give the user the option to change it. Once you have uploaded the video, depending on how long or how large the file is, uh, it might take a couple of minutes to process it. I typically just stick around at this screen because at this point, I have no clue if I can browse away from the screen or not. And if I do, will I lose this? progress. So I just wait here and wait for the video to get transcribed. And then once the page is ready, we go into the editing mode. Our video is ready and we have this little tutorial. We're going to skip it. And here you have it. So again, this isn't a video editor. I have no timeline, nothing to edit. So at this point, what I can do is highlight a text and insert a stock video in there. Now, the thought that I have here is I don't understand why I would use this software because the only purpose for this software at this point in my mind is and please please still use my link if you want to buy it right support me but i want to tell you the truth here like i don't know what this software is for it's to insert stock videos that are not even ai generated that are keywords that are being sent to pixels getting using their api to get find those a, a video that matches those texts the fastest and bring it back and insert it into your video. But you have no control over where in the video you're going to insert this. 
you can just highlight the text. And once it's inserted, you can't do anything about it other than keep asking it to generate it again. Maybe audiograms is the one use case I can think of. Because if I'm a course creator, a podcaster, a video editor, I am already editing in a editing software that's established, that's been out there and has all the bells and whistles. Something like Descript, something like Filmora or CapCut. Hell, Cap CapCut is free. I, I, I'm struggling to find the use case of this product. That being said, it's a okay first iteration and I'm so sorry to the founder. I know you have probably put your heart and soul into this. Worked really hard to bring it to AppSumo. So thank you, but this is just my honest opinion. I don't know what I'm going to do with this software other than have it be shelf there. I will likely be refunding this to AppSumo because I don't have any use for this software. That's my review of Jupiter. I really want to like this product, but I don't see that happening. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you get notified next time I release a new video. Honest video, because that's what we do here. Honest reviews from your boy Amit at Zero to Course Hero. And I will see you on the flip side. Keep creating.